So this is how the standings are currently looking in the franchise. We are at the top of our division, six and two. Jacksonville right behind us at five and three. Tennessee at three and four, and the Texans at three and five. If Jacksonville wins this week, they'll be tied with us, um, and then they'll probably beat us next week, and then we'll probably lose to Tennessee. I just really feel like our season's kind of done for if we lost Jacoby and Andrew Luck for that long in a single game. I just I feel like it's done for. Who knows? You never know what's gonna happen. Um, but we're in the bye week, so we're gonna be taking a look at everyone's, uh, you know, stats and stuff. And the Rams are eight and zero, just absolutely dominating. We'll go division by division here. The Ravens on top of their division, five and three, pretty pretty decent. I mean, that's pretty realistic. I feel like next division will go as us. Yep. I mean, maybe that's realistic. Who knows? I doubt the Colts are six and two in real life. The Patriots on top, six and two. Jets and Bills both four and four. And the Dolphins one and seven. Pretty realistic. Nothing crazy there. This one, not sure. I mean, maybe Denver does good. Maybe the Chargers do good. This division, it's kind of weird, kind of iffy. It's between these three teams. Maybe Denver has some late late push. The Bears, though, first. This division's all fucked up. The Bears and the Lions, first to second. The Packers are 2-5 and five somehow, and the Vikings are 1-7. and seven. No clue what's going on there. I don't know what's happening. The Falcons and the Saints, both 6-1, and one, just dominating. NFC East, the Eagles are 6 and 2. They beat us. Not good. Then Giants, then the Redskins, Cowboys 2 and 5. And at the NFC West, looking pretty good. 8 and 0 for the Rams, 5 and 3 for the Niners, 4 and 3 for the Seahawks, and 3 and 5 for the Cardinals. So pretty difficult division there. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the standings here, or not standing stats. We'll go with the uh, we'll go with our stats first. So Andrew Luck as of now has 1300 yards. 90 for 146, 9 touchdowns, 7 picks. Too many picks, in my opinion. 61% um, completion percentage. And an average of almost... I don't have to say almost 100, but we're not, we won't round up that high. Um, sacked 32 times in 8 games. And uh, he will be done for a while now. So that's unlucky for him. Jacoby had played 1 game, did absolutely shit. I threw a bunch of picks. And now we have these guys in. So that's nice. Um... Rushing, Hines had some breakout games, 112 carries, 439 yards, average of about four uh, yards per attempt, three touchdowns only, which is kind of kind of annoying. Andrew Lux turned them all over a lot, now that I think about it. Jeez, eight fumbles? Good Lord. What was Wilkins doing? Wilkins is having, some, is having a decent little game, career, I feel like. 84 attempts, 209 yards, four touchdowns? Not too bad. He's more of the power guy, you know, he's in there get, being a beast. Um, leading us in receptions is Eric Ebron with 23. Leading us in yards is T.Y. with 374. Right behind him, Ryan Grant. And fourth, Deion Kane. Well, fifth, I guess, if you don't, if you count Eric. But Deion Kane with 161. Not too bad. Reese has only caught a couple passes for us. Not really getting that much PT. Four touchdowns for T.Y., which is nice. I like it. Getting those stats. T.Y. Eric's being a monster. Um, sacks allowed. This guy's awful. He's got to go. Definitely going to draft a tackle. There's a plane coming over my house. Probably going to hear that. Um, Anthony, he's decent. But seven of sacks, not the greatest. And then we got the rookie here. The rookie here, though. Two sacks. He's a beast. No one could stop him. Leading us in tackles is uh, Darius Leonard with 51 they got to fix the pick because I should not have this many picks. Five for Leonard, eight for Farley, four for Wilson, three for Moore, two for Ture, two for Hooker. Like, I should not have that many picks. It's insane. Too many picks. Way, way, way too many. Hopefully they come out with a patch at some point to fix that. Kicking Adam Vinatieri. Um, for some reason, he's attempted zero field goals. Um, is that a glitch? Can we... <laughs> Can we fix that for real quick? Okay, apparently Adam and Terry is yet to kick a field goal for us. That makes sense. Our punter is an absolute legend. 16 times inside the 20. Absolute legend. Chester with a huge kick return in the last game for us. 94 yards. Dion. It's sad, buddy. It's sad that you're like... I mean, I'm, I'm subbing him in, too. Not really getting that much PT. Um, let's go ahead and look at the player stats. Let's look at just the top people here. Let's go to NFL. So leading us in passing yards is Carson Wentz with 2,223. Probably in touchdowns, too. 20 touchdowns and three picks. Jesus. I wish I had a ratio like that. Good God. What a legend. Rushing yards, we got Todd Gurley with almost 1,000 already. Maybe that's why they're 8-0. Jesus. Le'Veon, Kareem Hunt, David Johnson. 
Good God. Six touchdowns, too. Receiving, we got uh, Odell with 600 yards going in. I think next season, I think we're going to finish out this season with the sliders and stuff that I have now. I think next season I'm going to bump it up to 15 minutes, though, so I can kind of compete with these stats because these are, these are insane. Cannot compete with these guys. They got 20-plus more tackles than me and all that, so definitely going to do that next season. Um, I think we'll just keep with what we got for now. Uh, we're going to show sliders here in a second. I know some of you guys wanted to see that. Kick return, Chester Rogers. There's only been two kick returns in the whole NFL? Really? Okay. Whatever. I'll take it. Darren Sproles is the best kick return, or second best kick returner and the best punt returner, apparently. We are 30th offense and 4th defense. Let's go look at the weekly awards. We'll scroll through them. I know we got some people on here. Um, Farley with week two with five tackles and two interceptions. Um, Farley again with ten tackles, one sack, three interceptions, and one touchdown. That's the game that he got paid too. Jesus, Todd Gurley, good God. And we got two here. Wow, Hines, Hines definitely deserved that one. Twenty-one of carries, 185 rush yards, one rushing touchdown, one reception for 45 yards, and Farley with nine tackles, a sack, and a pick in week eight. Big game there for us. Let's look at the yearly awards now. For MVP, Todd Gurley, yeah, I wouldn't expect that. We don't have, we do have Farley up there for MVP, a safety. Oh my, that's how you know he's going in. If a safety is number eight, oh yeah, that's how you know he's going in. Coach of the year, okay, okay. Frankie boy, suck it right now. Go to the AFC. Do we got anyone for offensive player of the year? Negative. Defensive player there, Farley and Leonard first and second. I'd rather have Leonard win it, to be honest. Give the Rook the the points. Need him to win that. Hines off his second for Offensive Rookie of the Year. If he keeps going in, he might he might win that. Wilkins is up there, too. Must be struggling for the offense. What? These two are here? It must be a struggle for the AFC rookies on offense, because how are they there? Defensive Rookie of the Year, definitely in Leonard. It's going in right now. And Therese up there. And Lewis. Okay. Not too bad. Best quarterback, Blake Bortles. We're not going to be up there, I'll tell you that. Best running back, I don't think we'll be up there either. Definitely not this one. Maybe here. Yep, Quentin Nelson up there. Not too bad, as long as he's up there. You know, as long as he's there. Best defensive lineman. Got no one. Darius Leonard for that one. Of course. Dude's a killer. Best DB, Farley. Another killer. Wilson's up there, too. And more. Okay. Best kicker, Adam Vinatieri hates us, so there's no way he's up there. We'll go backwards now. Mason Crosby for best kicker. Best DB, Earl Thomas. Best linebacker, Eric Kendrick. Somehow they're 1-7. Who is this? Samson Ibakum. 74 overall, really. Okay. Aaron Donald, no surprise there. Um, best wide receiver, Doug Baldwin. Cole Beasley. Sterling Shepard. Nelson Aguilar. What? Okay. Um, whatever. Whatever you say, EA. Whatever you say, okay? Whatever you say. Um, next thing we're going to look at is the, the transactions that we made. I really didn't want to cut anyone, but I did end up making one cut because I had just had to because I was trying to make room for two new quarterbacks, so we had to shift some things around. So let's go to here to the Colts. So we ended up uh, – where are we at? Let's go – so we're right here. So we signed Brad from a practice squad to us. We got to the free agents. We signed Trevor Knight to a one-year $2.3 million contract. A little more than I wanted, but we needed a quarterback. We needed a backup. I ended up releasing Chris Sean Hogan off our practice squad, which now that I think about it, probably didn't have to because I think we still have a spot. But this dude's like a 50 overall. Um, not much. Really, I mean, there's not really a reason for me to keep him. Um, Basham, I moved to the practice squad just because we needed to make space. I didn't want to do anything with him, um, but we needed to make space, so I put him down there. Uh, and... Our, we, had, we, had a th we had three left tackles, and this dude's like 25, and he's like a 64 overall, so I ended up releasing him. I would have just put him on the practice squad if I could have, but I couldn't. He was too old. So that's what we did there. Brad will definitely get the start because he's on the practice squad. You know, he knows the offense. He's a 66. Okay, why is Trevor there for some reason? Can we switch that? Okay, Brad will get it, even though he's a 62. We can't just 
give Trevor the start. Andrew Luck went up another overall, even though he's getting hurt because he hates me. I don't know why. Um, but this is how the team's looking. Farley's went up two overall. So is Andrew Luck. The linebackers looking rough, but they play like gods. We'll probably have, I feel I feel like we'll draft outside linebackers. I don't know. Here's the injury report. Um, go ahead and show that if you guys forgot. Andrew Luck will be back in five games. Ridgeway in four games. Jabal will be back in one more game. Next game we get Travis back and Jacoby Sam with Andrew and then Marlon Mack. Sad day, done for the year. I almost forgot to show you guys the sliders we've been rocking with. So XP sliders, I'm still kind of figuring it out because we don't get that much XP. I have it up everyone up to 125. And uh, I still, as you guys saw at the end, I only had three people able to upgrade. So I don't know if I'll keep it like that or not. We'll see. Um, league settings now, it's just all Madden simulation, you know, all this stuff. Not much going on there. Um, I'm not going to go any further down because I don't want to show you the password to the, the league. That would be kind of a choke, don't you think? And then gameplay sliders. I've been using these for like three games straight now. Probably going to keep it for the rest of the season. And then maybe next season we'll figure stuff out. But uh, like I said, player skill. Like I don't know what I got to do to lower the picks. Maybe I turn interceptions down. Maybe let's try that, I guess. We'll turn down the 40. But I feel like that's not good. We're just going to drop picks now. We won't actually get them. Maybe that helps. Um, actually, no. We'll leave it at 50 for this season. Next season we'll probably, figure, we'll probably lower that and dink around even more but i want to keep it set i don't want to keep changing it every single game so we'll keep this set but zero zero i might lower with tackling a little bit as well cpu i mean they got 100 qb accuracy they got more pass blocking they got 100 run blocking they got 100 here they got 100 there like i'm trying to like make it so they don't throw all these picks and stuff but they just do this is but this is what we got we got all the penalties up five too just to make it happen a little more we'll probably we'll stick with that the rest of the season like i said and uh contracts we'll go over them again but i mean it's it's basically the same thing every single time he hates us we're waiting probably not going to sign him probably not going to sign him not sign him maybe on you maybe we're going to wait definitely not sign you and probably skip you and maybe sign him maybe he, i mean he's playing now just because we have that defensive tackle hurt but we might sign him can't just let everyone go, you know. And last thing in the in the episode before we end this is we're gonna go and take a look at our draft board. I like I really don't think that uh, I really don't think there's like a set position that we need to get in the first round. We do have two first round picks and two or three second round picks. I think is there a way to check picks? Oh, I think I do it in. Do I do it in here? Is it like a button? I know I know a way I can do it if. Uh, Projected picks. Okay, so I do have that. So I have an eighth. This is just projections. I have an eighth round, a 26th, an 18th, and a 22nd in the second round, a third, fourth, fifth, no sixth, and a seventh. So we have two, four, six, eight picks. Two, four, six, yeah, eight picks. I Like I said, I really don't think there's like a set position we need to get at the beginning. Like the first pick, we have to get this. We have to get a quarterback. We have to, you know, I feel like we just draft best available. And so we'll just go through some people that I got on my draft board. You guys can let me know what you think. Um, definitely need some corners, though. We, I mean, there's these guys. The corners are looking kind of rough. I mean, he has good press. This is probably the best corner um, in the draft. Second best, I feel like, is this fourth round here, who is kind of a sleeper, you know. I mean, I don't really think we should go with Zeke here, even though it says he's first-round talent. I feel like that's that could be a bust. That, those stats are looking rough. But, I mean, this guy has pretty much the same exact stats as actually the exact same stats but he has better zone less awareness better zone and he's fourth round i can get him way later so i feel like if we had to draft one of these maybe we get him i don't think i don't think that's even worth getting too if we have a first maybe late first round but not the early pick i feel like kirkland will be the corner we'll draft he looks like a beast this outside linebacker all bees isn't too bad as well he's projected pretty high um, we definitely need a center we got some decent guys here late uh, a, a three B minuses for a fifth rounder, I think, isn't too bad. We have some right tackles who are probably gonna draft. I feel like this guy right here, two B pluses and a B. I mean, this could be our early pick. This guy looks like a monster. All three of these right tackles look like monsters. This third rounder it doesn't look too bad too. Um, a fullback just because I didn't know if I wanted to to uh, keep Trey Flowers. I think that's his name. Is it, no, it's not Trey Flowers, is it? I don't remember. 
Um, defensive tackles, just because you know we might not sign that one dude, Al Woods. We might not sign the other big boys, so I got a bunch of defensive tackles here. It's looking pretty decent. This guy's projecting the first, in the second round. I mean, he was projected in the second round, but he says he's a first-round talent. All Bs, not too bad for him. Some of these guys, these guys all fit the scheme as well, so not too bad. Another corner here, two Bs and a C, a little rough. Um, then we started drafting some wide receivers just because I was like, Grant might leave, people might leave. And some of these wide receivers look really good. This guy looks decent. This guy looks really good. The A minus, a B plus, and a B. Terrell Whitehead doesn't look too bad. Three B pluses for Houston Rose doesn't look too bad. Like, oh, these wide receivers are crazy. Corey Jacobs, an A minus, a B plus, and a B. A B plus and two Bs. Like, look, all these Bs, all these wide receivers look really good. And then, uh, last but not least, I decided to scout some left tackles. We do have Anthony there, um, but maybe we get a left tackle late to, you know, get behind him that way. So whenever Anthony's contract's up, we can just have place the rookie behind him or whatever. Um, so not too bad here for these guys. That's the draft board uh, that we got so far. Let me know what you guys think who we should draft. I feel like we have some decent options definitely going to be scouting some more defensive players here though um i think offense i'm set with on scouting i don't i don't need a running back i don't need a quarterback i've done a wide receivers i don't need tight ends i've done some linemen so i think i'm going to scout some defense in these next couple weeks and maybe a kicker as well because adam venetary hates us so maybe we try to look out there and find the next adam venetary um, but that's all we got for the bye week video video or i don't know why i thought i said that like french or something i don't know um, if you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment, and I will see you in the next one.